The number six Philadelphia Sixers take on the number three Orlando Magic. It's going to be an interesting series. My key matchups are Sam Dallenberg versus Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard's had a great series. He's in a, a great season. He's an amazing player. The best big man in the league, no question. Doesn't get much better than Dwight. But Dallenberg has at times this year been a very, very good rebounder. He's, a kind, he's another one of those guys who maybe he only averages 9 rebounds or 8 rebounds a game, but he's the kind of guy who explodes for 20 rebounds a night from time to time. So the th worry here is if Dwight Howard decides, screw it, I'm going to win this series by myself, he hasn't proven that he's that kind of guy yet. He doesn't score enough usually to be the kind of guy who goes, screw it, we are winning this game, we're winning this series, or whatever, I'm going to do it by myself. So, Dallenbert has to steal enough rebounds to keep D12 from completely taking over this series. Other matchup is Hito Turkoglu versus Andre Iguodala. Turkoglu is hurt right now. He's banged up. He's had kind of a rough season. He's kind of been down by his standards. He's a huge make-or-break player for this Magic team. And right from the start, he goes up against the best Sixers player probably in Andre Iguodala. It should be a very interesting matchup to see what goes on there, how hard Turkoglu has to exert himself, and how badly Iguodala can win that matchup potentially. Thoughts? Once again, Dwight Howard needs to prove that he can carry this Magic team to a series win. Because the Magic have some issues right now. Turkoglu is banged up. They, they're not getting Shamir Nelson back, but that's been like that all season, so who cares about that? <coughs> and... You know, even Rashard Lewis, I'm not totally sold on right now. I think there might be something a little wrong with him. So, Howard, if the Magic are going to make quick work of the 76ers, they need to just get right through. And it's going to be on Dwight Howard to, you know, grab 15 rebounds, score 25 points a game, and just take over. Whatever he needs to do. For the Sixers, Andre Miller. The Orlando guards are weak. Rafer Alston has been playing okay. I'm not really his biggest fan. He's been doing all right, but he hasn't been doing too well. Courtney Lee's a rookie. He's been doing well for a rookie. Uh, they have Anthony... I can't remember his first name. Anthony. Uh, the old guy. I think he used to play for the... I think he used to play for the Pacers. I can't remember his name. Anthony Johnson. There we go. He's, you know reasonably effective. J.J. Redick, uh, they don't have very good guards, so Andre Miller needs to destroy these guards if the Celtics, if the Sixers want to win this series. He needs to destroy them. Period. Rashad Lewis, I know from time to time he's inconsistent, a little questionable, but I think this is the matchup that he should be able to go off on. This Sixers team, it's not a bad team, but I would expect the uh, Rashad Lewis to do really well from three-point range against this Sixers team. So he needs to prove that he can do that consistently. Because that's one thing with him. If he's not hitting his threes, he really can't influence the game in any other way. He's not a good rebounder, defender, or anything like that. He has to be hitting his threes. So he needs to be consistent with that this series. The uh, Willie Green Courtney Lee matchup at the guard position. Neither of these players are considered to be that good, but if one of them can outplay the other, that could be influential in the series. I don't think it's a key matchup, far from it. But neither of those players are very good, so whoever wins that matchup could end up influencing things. The X factor for this series and for the entire playoffs, in my opinion, is Hito Turkoglu. If he is playing at his full potential, if he's playing at the level that he played last year, or, <clears throat> you know, some of the other peak years, <clears throat> this Magic team can absolutely win the championship. If he doesn't, this Magic team, their ceiling is losing to the Cavaliers in the Eastern Finals. Period. Period. So, Turkoglu, huge X Factor for this whole playoffs and this series. The Magic should slice right through the Sixers in five, maybe four, if Turkoglu's balling. But he's not healthy this series. He won't be playing that much. He won't be that effective. So I have the Magic winning in six. 
Sixers are going to win a couple. Final matchup, the Miami Heat taking the, on the Atlanta Hawks. Very interesting matchup. Some keys. Mario Chalmers versus Mike Bibby. Bibby has had a decent season. He's got like 15 points and 5 rebounds a game. So he's pretty effective. And then you, but he, and he's a veteran. Mario Chalmers is a solid rookie. He scores like 10 points. He's a good 3-point shooter. He's got like 4 or 5 assists a game. So Bibby needs to use his veteran smarts, his veteran experience to, to outplay Mario Chalmers by some considerable amount. He needs to win that matchup badly. Use his veteran vet wileys or whatever you want to call it to make take care of business. On the other side, Al Hortford versus Jermaine O'Neal. I don't doubt that Jermaine O'Neal is washed up. He is averaging 4.6 rebounds a game in 31 minutes a game since he joined the Miami Heat. That is atrocious for a guy who pretty much stands right next to the basket all game, you know? So, but he's a veteran. Al Horford's a pretty young guy. So Jermaine O'Neal needs to make sure he doesn't get completely, completely destroyed by Al Horford because, again, he's the veteran here. He needs to use some veteran tricks to neutralize this matchup against Al Horford. <clears throat> My thoughts on this series. Best players on both teams play the shooting guard position. They'll probably be playing against each other. That's what it's all about. Dwayne Wade, Joe Johnson going at it going to be good. Hopefully it's going to be good. Um, they should be able to go back and forth. I'm sure Wade's going to be great. Joe Johnson's going to be great, so I don't think it's a key matchup because I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to get from both these guys. So, you know, that's good. that could help decide the series, whoever plays better, but I think I know what I'm getting from both those guys. I think both these teams are fairly similar. They have okay point guards, elite shooting guards, um, they're small forwards, uh, are pretty weak. I think it's Jamario Moon and some guy on the Heat who's not very good. I can't remember his name. Or the Hawks who's not very good. I can't remember his name. They both have interesting bench impacts in Marvin Williams and Michael Beasley. Two very high draft picks that the team seemed to like a lot. They just happened to bring both off the bench right now. So that will be a swinging factor. The sixth man. Both power forwards I like J.R. Smith and, and Udonis Haslam. You know, both are kind of underrated players that I appreciate. I think they're both about equally as good as each other. And both centers, Al Horford, Jermaine O'Neal, I don't really know what I'm getting from that. I think it's going to come down somewhere to Marvin Williams versus Michael Beasley, who can make a bigger impact off the bench. And the underrated Udonis Haslam needs to challenge the superior Atlanta big men because Atlanta's better down low. Haslam is an effort guy. He's the kind of guy who just tries his butt off and finds a way to get it done. So we need to see more of that from Udonis. The X factor here is beyond any shadow of a doubt, easily Michael Beasley because he has really emerged as a quality player the last couple weeks. He cares about defense now. He's starting to care more about rebounding. If he can go off and have, you know, 2010 this series or something, I think the Heat will win. If he doesn't, it's going to be really hard. It's really, I guess this series really, really comes down to Dwayne Wade and how many good games he can have. If he has four great games, the Heat should win. If not, it might not happen. I think the Heat are going to win in seven. I think Dwayne Wade has it in him to win this one series. That's probably going to be it, but that's what I have. That's the playoffs. I'm done. See you guys later.